I was interested in uh, doing an episode about an open marriage because to me, in theory, it makes perfect sense. I mean, why shouldn't you be able to have a primary partner and then have other people who you have sexual involvement with. Every time I brought up the topic of open marriage, I would get into a 15-minute conversation with people, even people who thought that it's totally insane, still are interested in talking about it. And when you have something like that, that's when you know you have a good subject for an episode. When I was researching this and and, and reading about open relationships and open marriages, and it, it is interesting that uh, well, you know, according to the guidebooks, Taub tackles this in exactly the wrong way. You know, you're not supposed to wait until there is somebody else outside of your relationship who you are interested in to bring up <laughs> to your spouse or partner. I, I'd like to think about opening things up, but he really is trying to be honest with her about, about his desires, and then she's really trying to accept him for who he is. And then they both come up short. And, and that, to me, hopefully strikes people as very real. Well, we were interested in Wilson getting involved in a relationship. And then we, we thought, he has these ex-wives. What would it be like if you went back to one of your earlier marriages and, and you were both different enough uh, that it could work again? And we thought, well, that's a really interesting situation. And and that's also a way that you can have these people have, you know, intense feelings about each other, uh, you know, very high highs and very low lows, and have it be believable. You know, House really is trying to give Wilson good advice. I mean, he, he really does think if he's going to make it work with Sam, he has to find a way to confront her about the things that, that bother him. And I think House is absolutely right, and he actually does turn out to be right. Now, unfortunately for, for Wilson, in the midst of this, it stirs up a lot of the old issues between him and Sam, which existed in the first place because Wilson, when he was married to her initially, wasn't able to bring up all the things that bothered him. You know, House really is trying to turn over a new leaf. He's trying to do the right thing by his friend. In the middle of the episode, it seems they've broken up. So for him, it's it's the perfect demonstration of karma. You know, he, he made an effort to help his friend, and then he got the thing that he really wanted anyway, which is for them to break up. Now Wilson's going to have another priority in his life, and, and House should be able to accept that. But that means not being so selfish. So that's really going to be a challenge for him. And then, and then to deal with the stress of feeling like he's losing his friend and to do that without, uh, without Vicodin, I think is going to be a real challenge for him.